With another exciting Grand Prix on the horizon, we at Traction figured a lot of you watching will probably enjoy replicating the race in a video game. Normally, we can just jump on the most recent Formula 1 title and fire up our own Grand Prix weekend. However, for the second race in a row, we find ourselves in a situation where the track isn't available. The reason is, of course, the coronavirus pandemic. This must be the most blamed event in the history of everything. Both Imola and Portimao made their way onto the F1 calendar during the crazy rescheduling emergency last year, meaning that they were too late to be included in the official Codemasters 2020 Formula 1 game. The great news is that both of these tracks held their place on the real calendar, but the bad news is that F1 2021 the game isn't out yet. So, if you're impatient like me, you may be wondering, what is the best way to recreate these races now? The answer? Mods. Games such as Assetto Corsa and R-Factor 2 have a plethora of mods that you can download online, ranging from hill climbs and Mario Kart tracks to banana cars and, well, that. There are also plenty of PG options, such as the up-to-date 2021 Formula 1 cars and, importantly, the newly added circuits to the F1 calendar. So then, here is a hot lap of the Portimao circuit using the 2021 Aston Martin F1 car, all done through mods on Assetto Corsa. So here we are then for a hot lap of the Algarve International Circuit, otherwise known of course as Portimao. This track is incredible, it's like a roller coaster really. So many ups and downs, so much undulation, absolutely beautiful and an amazing part of the country. We head down the hill now towards turn one, Primera, super fast, shift down to fifth really quickly and get the nose in. Feel free to use the curbs and the runoff area in the exit. We're straight now into turn three, the Lagos corner. You want to keep it nice and tight on the exit so that you can prioritize your run up the hill and left through turn four. Very strange off Canberra corner and it's really easy to lose the back end there so you've got to be pretty careful. We now shoot down the hill towards the turn five hairpin. It's all about getting the nose in here nice and late on the brakes, a bit easier than the previous corner. Get on the power nice and early and away you go. You really don't get much respite here. It's constant action corner to corner. We shoot through turn seven now, which is all about preparing for turn eight. Another tricky off camber right-hander. Try and get the nose in and then focus on getting your power down smoothly. You don't want to get too much oversteer on the exit. We now fire straight back up the hill through turn nine, Craig Jones corner, and into one of the toughest apexes to spot, which is turn 10 and 11 at Portimao. Really tricky to get that one right, but once you nail it, it's really satisfying. We now go back up the hill from turn 12 and again into another heavy braking zone at turn 13. This is a strange one, pretty late on in the corner you hit the apex, so you've got to be careful through there. We're immediately down the hill now into 14, getting the power as nice and early as you possibly can to be able to open up your exit and carry as much speed through this last corner, turn 15. Flat out 7th gear, incredible speed through here. Use the runoff area on the exit and fire down to complete your lap of the Algarve circuit. What an amazing venue it is, an incredible track, and I'm so, so glad that we've kept it on the Formula 1 calendar. Now that you've seen how epic this circuit really is, why don't you go and give it a try for yourself? Get on your favourite moddable game, get searching, and let the traditional Portuguese lap 1 chaos commence. When Sunday rolls around, make sure you grab a beer, put your feet up, and enjoy the race. <laughs> 